Hi, it's Sheila Dancho and welcome to my kitchen. It is a beautiful February day in Manitoba when it's only minus 22 and you go outside and you think, wow, this feels actually kind of warm. Then you know you're living in Winnipeg area. <laughs> winter pig. Anyway, it's starting to warm up and people are out and about today, so that's fantastic. So welcome to my kitchen. I am going to be making a coconut curried squash soup today. It can be vegan and I'm going to show you like a, the vegan version of it uh, or you can add some animal uh, fats as well. So anyway, so welcome to my kitchen. Welcome. I am the founder of the Get Healthy program. The Get Healthy program is a program that focuses on getting healthy with the side effect of weight loss. So I've had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of participants who lose five pounds, 10 pounds, 50 pounds, 70 pounds, 100 pounds, and are feeling great. And I, and I really believe food is our medicine. So I love cooking and I love showing you how to make simple, easy, fast meals. So I'm just gonna turn on my stove here. And again, everything has to be simple, easy, and fast. And it has to have ingredients that I can get from the local co-op grocery store. Uh, which is not always, you know, so I can't, uh, oops, let me just get this on. So I don't make a lot of uh, exotic, you know, French cooking meals. I do, but I don't show you those because I want to make sure that this is going to be simple and easy so that if, it doesn't matter if you're in northern Manitoba or northern Saskatchewan or if you live in a one-horse town and have a little country store that you can get all the ingredients. Okay, so what we're going to start with... Um, so just, I love garlic and I love onions. So I'm gonna put in, first of all, uh, instead of using uh, butter or margarine, first of all, margarine is hydrogenated. I never use margarine. And because anything hydrogenated is not good for you, for your heart. So uh, you could use butter in this if you want, but if you're making the vegan version, you wanna use coconut fat. And the whole theme here is a coconut curry squash soup. So we're going to just uh, melt the coconut fat. Now coconut fat is medium chain tr triglycerides and medium chain triglycerides are really great for uh, being used as energy in the body and it helps aid in weight loss. So it's hard to believe you take in good fats to get rid of the bad fats, but that's how it works. So it's, uh, I recommend the coconut fat. Um, then two, two cloves of garlic. So what I do is I smash the garlic with a flat knife and then I chop it up so that it releases the beautiful garlic oils. Then I have a uh, one white onion. I basically chopped up really fine. So that we're going to just start frying up. Okay. And I want to make this a short video. So, it, but you know, I would normally saute that for about 10 minutes, but for today, I'm just going to show you, go just going to throw it in the pot and put all the ingredients together. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually add about two cups of squash. Now it could be any squash. Um, I really love the dark squashes. So if you look at this, see how beautiful dark, this is not pumpkin. You could use pumpkin, uh, but this is actually like a butter, like an acorn squash uh, or butter cup squash or butternut. Now butternut is a lot lighter in color. This is a very deep, this is the deepest of the squashes. So that's why I'm gonna throw that in the pot as well. And so we want a really nice, rich, squashy soup. And the squash is really high in fiber and vitamin A and it's just great for you, okay? So I'm just gonna cook that up. We're gonna fast track this. Uh, then I'm gonna add, now I have uh, chicken broth, but to make the vegan version, you wanna use vegetable broth. So again, if you want to make a vegan version, use vegetable broth, or you can use the kitchen, uh, the chicken broth. So we're just gonna have that go. So I'm gonna put uh, two cups of broth. Now I can, I often make my own bone broth with chicken bones, and I don't have any today, so I just stopped at the local store and just got a quart version of this of chicken broth. Again, I could have picked up vegetable broth as well. So I'm just going to add that to the soup. So again, normally you would saute the onions for about 10 minutes, but because we're on fast tracking the recipe, just to show you how to put it all together, I'm just going to let it simmer after. All right, so we got that. Then we want to add a little bit of spice to it. So I have a chili. Now look at this. I grow my own chilies. Now you don't need a full garden. You could actually just do a little pot, a pot 
I'll show you in the spring how you could start your herbs and pots. And I just dried the chili, so I'm gonna add one dried chili. And you can just or put uh, chili pepper flakes in, but it's kind of fun growing your own and having it fresh in the summer and then just drying it and adding it later. It's, it's, uh, it's potent. Okay, my mom, every time I give her some soup, she says, oh, don't put those chilies in because she doesn't like any, uh, anything that's spice. Uh, okay, so then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add, now this is, I love these uh, Tupperware containers, and I just go to the Pennyweight Market in Beausjour, and you can go to your local food uh, bulk barn and uh, get spices at a reasonable price. Um, and so I'm just gonna put the curry powder, I'm gonna put two teaspoons, because I I like it kind of a nice, full body, full rich flavor. And coriander, we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of coriander. And did you know cilantro is the green leaves and the seeds are coriander? So I grow my own cilantro and I'm only gonna put a half a teaspoon. I put my own, uh, grow my own uh, coriander um, and then the seeds can be used for, for, uh, for so I grow my own cilantro and the seeds can be used for coriander. And then if I keep the seeds, then I'll just use this little device, mortar, and pestle and grind them myself and they'd be really fresh. So, okay, so now we just added that. So we're gonna cook that. I need a little bit of salt. And again, there's gonna be some salt in the broth, but I'm just gonna add like a half a teaspoon. I don't like a lot of salt. I'm just gonna put a half a teaspoon. If you don't put any salt in, it just seems like it's lacking something, but I don't use a lot of salt in my cooking. I try to keep it a, a minimal amount. So I'm just gonna cook that up for a while and let's assume that it's all has been cooked. Um, then I'm gonna puree it. I'll just quickly show you that. I love this device for pureeing. It's just a bra and handheld mixer. So I'm just gonna turn this off just for the demo. And oh, by the way, I love Takara jewelry. So I wanna give a big shout out to Suzanne Deslario. Uh, she's my Takara rep. And I'm wearing this beautiful, delicate rose gold with diamonds, uh, earrings, and this necklace. And I just say, you know, Suzanne, keep me, keep me in the jewelry. <laughs> I love it. It's great. It's always fun. And you know, even though we're at COVID, we're at home, we can still dress up and feel good. And that's part about feeling good. Is you know, if I sat around in my pajamas all day, I just wouldn't have the same energy. So I get up in the morning. I hit the gym in the basement. I'm working out to the Jillian Michaels. Uh, getting ripped in 30 days. My God, that woman is tough. <laughs> so I'm having a blast in the basement, me and Jillian every morning, and then I have a shower and I get going for the day. Um, so it's great to dress up, do your makeup, do your hair, and it feels like, you know, the day has begun, like I'm off to work, even though I work from home. All right, so after this is completely cooked, then I'm gonna just grind it up. So this little mixer is fantastic. I'm hoping that you're taking down the recipe. If not, I will um, mod like edit, edit the post and I'll put the recipe in there after I post this. Okay, so now, assuming it's all cooked, and you could eat it just pureed. I mean, the onions don't have to be cooked, but if you want, you could keep it simmering for a while. And then once it's complete, I'm adding one cup of coconut milk, full fat. So that's the coconut milk, full fat. And I'm just going to and again, this has a wonderful coconutty curried uh, flavor with the squash. It's really lovely. I have a variety of squash soup recipes, um, and this is just one of my favorites. I really love that coconut flavor. It's like being in the tropics. And today, with it only being minus 22 outside, I felt, oh, it's kind of tropical. So there, there you go. Um, and here is, I'm just gonna, there. Wow, I wish you could smell this. Take a look. Is that beautiful? Look at the color. And look how it's just steaming. Hey, Jamie, welcome. And whoever else is watching the replay line, welcome. I wish.
you could smell it. It's just fantastic. So anyway, that is my recipe today. So that's the coconut curry pumpkin soup recipe. If you like it, give me some hearts. So let's get the algorithm going. Some likes, hearts are even better, comments are even better. Share it on your wall. Send it to some friends and say, hey, let's watch, watch Cooking in Sheila's Kitchen. Again, my name is Sheila Dancho, founder of the Get Healthy program. If you want to check out some of my other quick, easy, healthy recipes, go to my website, gethealthy.club, not .com, not CA, but gethealthy.club for more super healthy recipes for you. Anyway, thanks a lot. Hope you enjoyed this cooking show and stay tuned for who knows what I'm going to cook next. Have a great day, everyone.